Hey, this is Mike Jeffers, and welcome to this week's edition of Who's Playing Where and What's Going On in the Chicago Jazz Scene, brought to you by Chicago Jazz Magazine. Uh, it's been an exciting last week, and this week is no different. There's a lot of shows coming up. Um, last week we talked about the different festivals that were in town, and this week there's some important shows coming up next weekend, well, this coming weekend, I should say. Um, but there's some other things, too, and of course, everything is down below in our weekly easy. So if you just click on the link, that easy will just pop right open and uh, you can look right through it. This week, the gig of the week is at the Jazz Showcase coming up Thursday, February 28th through March 3rd, and that's going to be Pat Martino Trio um, at the Legendary Jazz Showcase. Pat Martino, for many of you, probably all of you know who Pat Martino is, legendary guitar player, uh, has played with everybody from Chick Corea, Joey DeFrancesco, uh, Joe Henderson, everybody. And he's going to bring his trio to the Jazz Showcase uh, for two shows each night, plus Sunday there's a matinee for the kids. So if you have under underage kids, you want to get out there, Sunday is the day Joe and Wayne have had that going on, I think since, since they started the Jazz Showcase almost over 40 years ago. So there's a 4 o'clock matinee every Sunday and then two shows Sunday night. So that's at the Jazz Showcase, which is at 806 South Plymouth Court, right on basically on the corner of uh, Polk and Dearborn, right in Dearborn Station there behind the bar, Louie. Easy to find, easy to park. Might as well give you the tip, right, the parking tip of the day here. It's $5 if you pull around right behind the showcase. It's 5 bucks to park your car. You can park on the street if you want, but, you know, Mayor, Mayor, uh, Mayor Daly's deal with the parking meters didn't, doesn't help the situation. It's actually cheaper to park in the lot. So... Easy to park. Make sure you get to the Jazz Showcase uh, to see Pat Martino next weekend, starting on Thursday from uh, 8 and 10 o'clock shows, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and of course that's Sunday afternoon matinee at 4 o'clock. Another show coming up next weekend at the Green Mill is Jean McCall Pilk and his trio. Now, Jean McCall is from New York. And uh, I've seen him play at 55 Bar, at Smalls in New York when I go out there. I've seen him at the Green Mill here. And um, if you've never seen him play piano, he is extraordinary. Actually, since you're watching this on TV right, online right now, why don't you go to YouTube after this is over and uh, do a little search for Jean McCall, M-I-C-H, let me make sure I get it right, M-I-C-H-E-L, Pilk, P-I-L-C. And you'll find, you'll find some incredible videos of, of him playing. So uh, Friday and Saturday, Friday night shows at the Green Mill are all, always start at 9 o'clock. The Saturday show always starts at 8 at the Green Mill. And another parking tip. Yes, there's parking tips here on This is Chicago Jazz this week. You can park on the street there or you can pull around to the back and there's actually a parking lot for the Green Mill in the back and it's free. You can't beat that, right? Free is always good. I've learned... From being at the Jazz Fest and the Blues Fest, free is good. People like free, and I know you probably do too. So, there's parking right behind. I know I'm screwing around. Okay, well, Phil over here running the lights is trying not to laugh, but that's what happens when you do a little ad lib here on This is Chicago Jazz this week. Okay, so Jean McCall Pilk at uh, the Green Mill, March 1st and 2nd. So be sure to check that out. And one more show next weekend, since we are talking about next weekend right now. In pr the Prairie, uh, Prairie Center for the Performing Arts in Schaumburg is having a uh, special performance of the Three Ellas. And now many of us have probably seen the Three Ellas downtown, Millennium Park, Harris Theater. They've, they've performed with the uh, Chicago Jazz Orchestra. Well, this is a special performance of the Three Ellas at the Prairie Center for the Performing Arts Saturday at 8 p.m. So Spider Sailoff. Frida Lee and D. Alexander will all be there, and they're going to be performing all the different music of uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Some of them do uh, individual tunes, and then all three of them sometimes sing. It's really an incredible show. You want to make sure you check it out. And that is at the uh, Prairie Center for the Performing Arts, but you can find them at prairiecenter.org. Prairiecenter.org, and of course it's on chicagojazz.com, so you can just click over to our jazz calendar. And, uh, and check that out. Okay, so that's next weekend, but there's a lot of great shows coming up this week. And one of them, well, a couple of them in particular here, Katarina's. Let's focus on Katarina's. Katarina's 
is at 1920 West Irving Park, and I know many of you have heard me talk about them in the past couple weeks, but she has a lot of eclectic music and a lot of great shows, so it's worth talking about. Um, but Thursday, February 28th, Paulinho Garcia and Greg Fishman will be there doing two for Brazil, performing as two for Brazil. And of course, they've been around forever, they've toured the world, and this is your chance to hear them in a very intimate setting, which is Katarina's. So make sure you go to katarinas.com, katarinas.com, to get all the information. And uh, probably should call ahead to get reservations and get tickets, because this is going to be a very hot show. They, don't, they have not been playing around town very often. And, um, you know, this is something that, that uh, it's going to be in demand. So make sure that you get, get your tickets, get your reservations. Also at Katarina's this week, on March 1st, Friday, March 1st, Petra Van Nuys and Andy Brown will be performing. That They're a wonderful duo, husband and wife duo, performing all the jazz standards. And, uh, again, in an intimate setting at Katarina's, you, you can't beat it. And the last show is a Southport Records show, and that is uh, Josie Falbo. And she's doing her Taylor Street show, which we actually reviewed a couple of issues ago. Uh, her CD came out. It, great CD, old-time Chicago jazz. Uh, you really get that feel. Peter Polzak, the piano player, is playing with her. So um, if you have a chance to go see Josie, it's, it's a fantastic, it'll, it'll be a fantastic show, I'm sure, at, at Katarina's. And the covers vary, so make sure you check her website, katarinas.com. And should I do it again, Phil? Another parking tip. You can usually find parking right there on Irving Park Road, right on the street. It's pretty easy. People come in and out. So, I know. Okay. All right. The, the crew's laughing at me. The chef is behind the camera again. He's laughing. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm getting back on track now. So, enough of the parking tips. Um, a couple other little items here. We don't have a lot of stuff this week to, to drag on. Uh, last week, I think I did a marathon show. So, this week... Um, in our weekly e-zine, which is below, playing around town uh, for um, February, geez, not, see now I'm forgetting the dates, right? February 26th through March 4th. And if you click on it, it'll open right up. Inside this issue, we've got a couple of great, uh, of course, the gig of the week is um, Pat Martino at the Jazz Showcase. He's on the cover. I'm sure you can see the cover down there. We've got a recommended listening section, which we have had, but this week I wanted to mention Jack Mouse, great drummer Jack Mouse, who is a professor out at North Central College in uh, Naperville, and along with his wife run the Janice Borla Jazz Camp in the summer, which we're going to get to next week. We're going to start talking a lot about jazz camps. But Jack Mouse has a new recording out called Range of Motion. That's one of our recommended listening CDs. And there's a few other ones in there, so be sure to click on the link below so you can check them all out. Um, also in this week, we've got a getting to know you with an artist. A getting to know you with an artist is kind of a Q&A with artists, so we can kind of get to know a little bit more about them and who's playing, you know, somebody that's playing around town normally is, is who we feature. And this week is vocalist Elaine Dane. So, Speaking of vocalist Elaine Dane, what a segue. Okay. Uh, there is a new, um, a new jazz series happening at the Open Door Theater, which is in Oak Park. Open Door Theater in Oak Park. This Saturday, March 2nd, Abigail Rickards is going to be doing a show focused around Rodgers and Hammerstein. And uh, she's got a nice trio with her. And this is a new series that's going to be happening in March, and then they're going to do another summer series in June, where they're going to feature different vocalists, and they're going to have a theme of the night, which I, I really like the theme of the night, because now you know exactly what you're going to go there to hear. And I think it's really important, too. I know a lot of us are you know, jazz enthusiasts, and we know all of the music and stuff, but uh, for the casual listener, in order to bring them into the jazz scene, I think it's really important for them to be able to connect with the music. And when you do a, a, a show that's focused around one type of music, whether it's a, a composer like this, Rodgers and Hammerstein, um, I think that's just a great way to bring people in. I think they're really on the right track over there at the Open Door Theater. You can find out more information about that at opendoortheaterrep.org, opendoortheaterrep.org, or just click on our link that we have on Chicago Jazz. So Abigail Rickards is going to be there on Saturday, March 2nd, but bringing it back to Elaine Dame, you knew I'd get there. 
uh, bringing it back to Elaine Dame, Elaine is going to be there the next Saturday, which is March 9th. And she's going to be there uh, performing the music of um, Johnny Hartman and uh, John Coltrane. Um, there's a few other shows coming up in March, and then there's a few more coming up in June. And of course, we're going to be sponsoring this, so we'll have it all on our website. And uh, we'll watch for the e blasts for it and everything. It's put together by Linda Solitaire and uh, the Open Door Theater. So check that out, watch for it on our website. But this coming Saturday, if you're in Oak Park, sounds like a great theater. I'm going to get more into talking about the theater next week. I talked. Uh, a little bit, I uh, talked to somebody a little bit about the history of it. It's fascinating how they did this. It's a 75 seat house. So, you want to make sure you check that out. One more news item for this week there is a new jam session. Now, in this week's e zine, there is a list of jam sessions. So, if you're a young musician, old musician, you want to just go hang, you want to just go see a bunch of musicians show up and play spontaneously, uh, really happen and stuff. That's what jam sessions are for. There's a new one called uh, at a restaurant called Confetti's, which is in Gurney, 5101 Washington Street in Gurney. It's run by Jim Holman. He's playing piano and he's putting different groups together up there. I know that um, Richie Cole is going to be showing up up there. I believe Ira Sullivan, when he comes back into town, will probably pop in up there. Rusty Jones has been up there. So a lot of the named people are coming up to Gurney. So if you're up in that Gurney area, it's on Wednesday nights. starts at 7 o'clock. And, um, you know, be sure to stop by, check it out. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great way to see live music, especially up in the suburbs, that, that far north in the suburbs. They're really bringing a lot of the Chicago feel up to that Gurney area. Okay, well, this has been the update for this week, and I do want to thank our new sponsor for this week, Steve Maxwell's Drums, maxwelldrums.com. As you can tell, there's a drum set behind me for a specific reason. I play these drums when I'm playing jazz, and we used these drums at uh, the Taste of Chicago at the Jazz Fest last year in, in our, on our stage, and rave reviews from everyone. So if you're a drummer and uh, you're into the vintage drums, or if you're a drummer and you're looking for somewhere to go to get, get kind of uh, unique uh, drums and unique drum accessories, they have cymbals, they have hardware, everything else, maxwelldrums.com. They have a shop in Naperville and also in downtown Manhattan. So if you're watching this in New York, downtown Manhattan. So, okay, thanks again for watching, and we will see you somewhere out on the scene.